Hey good people, Batavia here. We have a September container garden tour. See you in a few. Okie doke. Quick housekeeping items. Thank yous to those who like, watch, subscribe, comment, and share Be Better Garden. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, consider it. There's a button below. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be alerted each time I share more hashtag garden jeweling. Alrighty, so we've been doing container gardening all summer long, all spring and summer. So there are other videos from this series that I'll drop in the description below. There's a playlist. Today we're gonna dig into what I'm growing in containers, which are primarily fall veggies. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Alrighty, so quick shout out to all of my house plants. Really, there are a couple of flowers here, but most of these are house plants that I've brought out that I'll need to be <laughs> taking back inside as the weather gets colder. Um, but they have thrived this summer. Uh, so I'm super super pleased with those and then we have some of the herbs we've been growing all year long uh, so thyme oregano parsley which is still kicking butt the cilantro didn't quite make it I let the um, candy stevia go to seed but it's still sweet so I'm still able to dry this um, which I'm looking forward to the sage is still living and thriving. This will be dried as well. And then we have some of the new additions. So I'm gonna actually drop in some footage from about 20 or so days ago when I first transplanted these veggies so you can see what they looked like then and then we'll walk through what they look like now. Romaine lettuce, um, some match and Claytonia, first time I've grown that. And I was finally able to start Kale indoors, virtual high fives. I'm so excited about that. Finally got that done. Some pak choy, and then I have some red leaf lettuce. Uh, all of these contraptions are to try to deter the stray cats, not the squirrels, but the stray cats. All right, that's what I got. You can see the growth just over like a three week period. I have been doing the cutting come again method where I just pinch off the leaves that are on the outside of the plant and allow it to continue to grow from inside as you can see it does. Uh, so this has been really cool. This is new for me um, and it's starting to grow. It clearly likes cooler temps. We're right now kind of midday about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to warm up to maybe 60 degrees but we are getting a lot of cool nights like nights that are in the 40s or 50s um, so I'm actually let's unwrap this for a quick moment these are the kale plants I would not normally plant kale this close together but because I know based on the time I have left these really won't get to full size so I went ahead and kind of clustered them in um, I thought this was ruby red kale that I started but the leaves immediately didn't look like that actually not ruby red kale red boar kale is that purplish kale so I thought it was that but these these look like turnips to me um, so you guys tell me what you think it's either turnips or it's mustards that I started and these don't look like mustard leaves to me but let me know what y'all think um, the kale we know is hardy and I'm considering one of two things, either taking it inside <laughs> um, and you know letting it grow once we get to that colder, colder weather, while it will survive as far as the root, the leaves really won't be edible once they get to the point of freezing, freezing, freezing. Um, so I'm also considering putting these containers inside of one of the garden beds that I have kind of the hoops on and covering it with plastic. So to be determined on that. Next up is my bok, no, pak choy. And I'm almost like 99% sure it's pak choy because it took me a while to find my bok choy seeds. Um, but I'm gonna put in some footage of the culprit that I found yesterday, which has been eating away at it. Um, see if we can find them today. 
we'll drop in a picture of what uh, has been gnawing away at it and it's the cabbage moth I found a couple of the green worms yesterday um, so it's still active in my garden unfortunately and I didn't cover this one up I have this wire around here because you guessed it cats I had a cat kind of dig up and um, you know <laughs> take a seat if you will if you know what I mean in this container about a week ago so these are mostly some of the summer things I was still growing my peppers while you can see they're smaller than the ones that are in the regular garden bed uh, they're still thriving I don't necessarily think I'll get any new peppers but um, I'm keeping these in the reserve right uh, I do have one more kale plant that I kind of plopped in that's doing pretty well in this small container. This is like a two gallon bucket, I think. Uh, so pretty small, but it's definitely, I mean, these leaves at this size are edible. Kind of look at them as baby leaves. I wanted to pull this in because I started this spinach um, back in August, I think. Direct sowed, and clearly it's bolted, started to flower. Um, so I'm still working on getting the spinach timing right kind of heading into the end of summer and the beginning of fall. But real quick note, in one of the previous videos, I thought this was more lemon drop peppers, but these are actually the shishitsu. Gosh, I'm butchering that. But it's actually those peppers, which are super cool because I only had these planted one other place. Um, so I'll definitely have enough to get an actual, you know, nice sized meal out of these. And based on the container size, the bucket, I may, may try to overwinter these. We'll see. In the background, I have still some of the confetti peppers. They're not producing any new peppers, but there are a couple that are still on um, the vine there. Actually, I take that back. They are producing new peppers. Hmm. One more potential for overwintering. We'll see. I mean, they couldn't stay outside based on the weather in Chicago um, in zone 6A, but they may be able to get inside of the garage with some lighting and survive, uh, but we'll see. All right, I have a couple more things to show you. So this is the arugula that I direct sowed. I did it on 9-11. Um, gosh, I don't remember the name of the lettuce. Here, I'll put it on the screen. It's washed away there. But you can see the growth that all of this lettuce has uh, achieved, which is super cool. Before we move on to the last set of containers, I did want to share how my raised bed is doing when it comes to this chard and the kale. So this char forward hook chard is one of my faves now. Um, it's just kicking butt. These cooler temps just really set it off. Um, this is the ruby red chard. And then this is dinosaur or lacinato. There's one more name I always forget that it goes by. Um, so it's starting to do really well. My kind of garden salads look like a couple of leaves from this plant, some of the chard, and then some of that romaine lettuce. Um, but yeah, this is really, really, really doing well. All right, let's get to the last set of the containers. All right, so for the sweet potatoes, just a quick update. We're at day 110 for those, and I've already pulled a test sweet potato out, and it really wasn't the ideal size. So I'm leaving these in the grow bags for a while longer. I'm keeping an eye on things because it's starting to get a little bit wetter, you know, since we're in fall and all. And everything I've read is you don't want to have your sweet potatoes get too wet for um, they may split once you get closer to the point of harvesting. So these are 110 days old. The grower that sold me the slips for the Beauregard, which I'm pretty sure is in this container, said, um, you know, you can wait up to the 100 day mark and harvest them. Um, pull one out, see how you like the size. If you don't like the size, wait another week, pull another one out, but advise not to wait more than uh, 30 days after kind of the harvest period. Um, so 100 days, you can start harvesting. 
don't go past 130 days I'm probably gonna get right in the middle and then the other ones I have it's from the potatoes that I started slips from that I bought from Home Depot and I still haven't been able to figure out that brand um, like the, the variety of potatoes so I don't know the timing but generally sweet potatoes like a longer season so I'm keeping that in mind but I'm probably gonna pull all of these out in the next couple of weeks and we'll do a video on that thanks so much for spending some time with me I'll be sure to update you all on how things progress over the fall season and the containers See you all in the next one.